Hey friends, today I'm gonna to show you how to create your own custom doormat using Chalk Couture Transfers and Chalk Couture Ink. So let's get started. So I'm starting with this gray mat that I found at, um, I believe I found this at Home Depot. It's a uh, Stylewell gray racetrack mat. Um, and it's got a rubber back, which is uh, perfect for going on my front door. And then I grabbed a few transfers. I grabbed the welcome transfer and those adorable new spring gnomes. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start with the welcome first. And you'll notice my transfer is very well loved. Um, in fact, it has lost pretty much most of its stickiness, but I am gonna use it anyway. Um, and you'll see here in just a second, I'm gonna hold down the one side while I am uh, inking on this mat. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend using um, a transfer um, that has small little details on a project like this because this this mat has a wider weave on it and therefore um, it's gonna lose some of the details on um, you know a more detailed transfer but for this big welcome transfer it's gonna be perfect and like I said my transfer has lost a lot of its stickiness so I'm just holding onto the end and um, inking very carefully and look at that it turned out perfect oh my gosh I'm so happy with this um, so far so um, once I dried that because I didn't want to smudge my ink um, I'm going to use uh, these adorable little gnomes and I'm just going to ink the body right underneath and you'll see I put the backing my backer paper on top of the welcome because it was still a tiny bit tacky um, and I didn't want uh, to smudge it with my uh, gnome transfers so um, I had pulled out a couple different color uh, inks but then I decided to just stick with the white for the gnomes. So again, I'm just going to be inking um, the bodies because I'm gonna use those florals um, in just a second on the side of my mat here. So um, again, just sticking with the white and um, I'm holding onto that transfer because again, this transfer, um, these transfers are very well loved. I use them lots and lots. <laughs> so um, once I did the little girl, then I'm gonna do this adorable little uh, boy gnome I just I love her little braids it's so cute so um, and then once I finish that one I'm going to pull that up and look how cute and I'm pulling up slowly in case I need to um, fix any spots that I missed some ink so um, once I have that done again I'm going to dry this and I did notice on this uh, mat to this doormat that um, the ink took a little bit longer to dry, so I was just working carefully here. So now I'm gonna work on the florals on the sides. And I haven't washed my transfer yet, which is why I am putting that backer paper underneath where I inked, because I don't wanna smudge that white ink on my mat. You could also wash it, let it dry, and then um, and then ink on there. But uh, so I am sticking with, I think I ended up choosing eucalyptus and if I'm not mistaken, marvelous, but I will double check those colors. Um, I didn't want anything super bright uh, on my mat, um, so I, I really like the muted colors of these. So again, I'm just inking the floral part of it, and then I'm gonna pull that up carefully. See, I got a little bit of white on there, but I'm okay with that. So then I'm moving to the other side, and again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm covering up that section of the transfer um, that I've already used so that I don't get the white on, on my the white ink on my um, on my doormat as I am inking those florals and you'll notice that uh, these colors aren't super bright obviously the white shows up a lot brighter than these other colors but in the end it actually ended up working out really well I love how it turned out maybe on the next one I'll do a brighter color um, I actually purchased two of these mats so that I could kind of play around with them. They weren't super expensive. I believe they were like 10 or 12 bucks, something like that. So um, I just had fun playing with these. So look how cute that is. I just love it. So once I've done all that, I let it dry overnight and then I'm going to use my easy press. You could also use an iron and I'm going to use a layer of parchment paper and I'm going to heat set this real well. Um, I did several passes 
um, with my uh, heat press just to make sure that I want that ink set real well on my mat because it is going to be at the front door and it's going to get wet and it's going to get stepped on. Um, so I want to make sure that ink is set nice and and well on that mat and there you go it looks so cute on my at my front door I just love it ready to welcome guests to our house so I will be sure to update you uh, in a few months to see how this mat is holding up and there's my cute little uh, welcome to our gnome porch uh, sign so thanks for watching let me know what you think and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this video